Career Girls is connecting role models and girls around the world through our virtual camps. These inspirational camps feature industry-leading role models and are offered free of charge to girls of all backgrounds. Hello, campers. Welcome to Career Girls Environmental Science Camp. This three-day camp focused on understanding the challenges to human environments, advocacy, and environmental justice led by women role models who represent an international, intergenerational, and interdisciplinary group of environmental science experts. Imagine a city in some area, you can choose where it is, but it's surrounded by a forest and there's a river running through it. Those are the characteristics of our city. What kind of climate impacts could happen? What did we hear about from our experts? A flood. A flood, absolutely. It's covered in woods and covered in trees and plants, and those can be highly, like, easily to burn if there is a drought. How would we build the homes, schools, office buildings to make them more resilient to these climate impacts? I think it's important to like build higher up so that there's like more room on the ground for like wildlife and like gardens and things. You're up higher so you don't get hit by the flood as much. You use like sustainable materials. You use like bricks and like concrete because so those don't like combust easily as easily as wood. Probably try to like make it easier to save energy like electricity and everything because like the more energy that we use it's getting worse for like the environment. A climate advocate uses the power of their voice to help manage and reduce the impacts of climate change. So our first question comes from Rachel. What skills are needed to be a climate advocate? I would say there is need for courage of conviction. I will say empathy uh, because we have to connect uh, and to understand how people feel it and how people think climate change is affecting them. I'd say creativity because Every situation is different. Everyone you're talking to is different. And there's so many different ways you can engage. Write down ways that you, campers, would organize a group of your peers to advocate for climate issues that impact your hometown. You should like talk to your peers about the issue beforehand before you raise it to the public. I would like either send out like a mass group chat text or like start um, a social media account because that's usually how people get their information. Communities around the world definitely do not experience climate change in the same way. When you think about underserved, think about areas that are really dealing with a lot of injustices in their area in terms of where factories are located and how that impacts the people who live there. There's a lot of pollution like in our creeks and we have a few lakes in our community that like there's usually there would be like ducks or things, but there's not really anything there because it's really polluted. When I'm living in Ontario, um, it's pretty good, but like a city or a town like nearby, like it does have like a really big factory. And like I did some research on it for like a school project and like the kids did, you have like a high asthma rate. What would we say are some solutions, things you would say people can and should do to address these issues? Organize community cleanups. Um, maybe like make something that will clean out the air. Like um, as Nicole said, like different places and factories, like because when they really smoke and everything and they were making materials, maybe we can make a material that can clean out the air before it's released. You can use alternative resources so you don't waste any or pollute, like using geothermal heating or solar panels, stuff like that. Just talking about it to like raise awareness and like advocate for those communities. One thing I was thinking of was to raise money for like the underserved communities that don't have fresh water to drink. I really think that everyone, I don't care how young you are, if you're old enough to participate in this, I consider you a young organizer, activist, and scientist. So my expectation is that you right away find the one thing you can do. And trust me, if you guys come up with something that I can do, I will follow you. So leadership is not limited to the old. You can lead right now. Thank you, panelists. Goodbye. Bye. 
Thank you all so much. Thank you to our role models and campers. We can't wait to see you impact the world.